pretty family welcome to my channel suit yourself pretty and if you are new here then let me introduce myself myself archita and i regularly upload videos in my channel relating to beauty makeup fashion and if you are interested then please subscribe to my channel because it's totally free in today's video i have shared an amazing makeup look related to durga puja ashtomi I have created this look wearing a baby pink shari with a green blouse. At the end of this video you will get a clear picture of this look. So without any further ado, let's get started. I have already cleaned my face using a mild face wash. Then I am using Garnier moisturizer to prepare a flawless base. This moisturizer is very lightweight. It has yuzu lemon essence plus vitamin C with UV filters. You can use this moisturizer on your face and body as well and it claims that it will lighten your complexion if you use it regularly. I have purchased it from a local market at price under 29. For priming my face I am using Mars Hydra Glow Primer and it comes with a glass bottle. It is very runny in texture and smells like a bubble gum which reminds me about my childhood. It is a luminous skin potion which adds perfect amount of shine and hydration to your skin. After that, I am using Lakme Absolute Spotlight Lip Gloss in the shade DV Pink to comfort my dry and chapped lips. I personally love this shade as it is very much convenient for daily use. Now for foundation, I am using Suga Cosmetics Foundation in the shade 17 and this shade is a perfect match for my complexion and I love Suga Cosmetics products. At first I thought that their products are a bit pricey but after using their products I am amazed. So yeah, there is no complaint about the prices. Now my face is looking like a garden with so many flowers. This foundation blends heavenly with a brush without leaving any brush strokes as other foundations do. For concealing, I am using Swiss Beauty Cream Concealer. It comes with a glass jar and here I am using a packed concealer brush to conceal my under eye. I will apply it on my eyelid and chin area also. Generally, I don't use any orange corrector because by God's grace, I have no dark circle or dark patches on my skin. Though I didn't get much time to take care of my skin, but I always remove my makeup at night before going to bed. Now I am doing my eyebrows uh, using Swiss Beauty eyebrow palette. As my eyebrows are already bushy so I don't have to do much to make my eyebrows. Now to make my eyebrows prominent I am applying concealer this way and going to blend the concealer immediately using that flat brush and a fluffy concealer brush. You should take time to blend the concealer surrounding your eyebrows because Visible fine lines will appear on your forehead if you didn't blend it properly. And it also gives you a cakey makeup look appearance which is not preferable. And to prevent creasing, I am using Inside Cosmetics HD Loose Powder on the areas where I have applied concealer. In order to get a flawless base, you must have patience at blending and try to use minimal products as I don't have any open pores or dark patches so generally I skip using primer and orange correctors if you don't have the problems for which the products are made then the use of these products may hamper your skin so I usually try to avoid those products which are made for open pores and correcting black patches because my skin has no such type of problems as a makeup artist and to show you the makeup steps, in some videos I have used the primer and the orange correctors though. But personally I do not prefer to but use. But if your skin has open pores and black patches then you can use these products to hide them and to get a flawless base. Now for contouring I am using Sugar X Wonder Woman Mixed Palette in the set Cosmos Conqueror. Now this is an another wonder product from Sugar cosmetics which i have this palette comes with a contour set a blush set a highlighter set and six eyeshadow sets all sets are very much pigmented and convenient for daily use and i'm in very much love with this palette now i am gonna apply a highlighting concealer to highlight my nose area of course this is that swiss beauty cream concealer which i have shown 
Now for blush, I am using NY Bay blush in the shade Sunset Skyline. In Sky camera, Line. the shade seems lighter than what it is. It looks like a peachy shade, but actually it is a pinkish mauve type shade, which is a bit darker than what it is seen. Now we can see how I am applying the blush. I am starting near the eyebrow tail area and then gradually drag it to the cheekbone area and then blending it in a circular motion. For eyeshadow, I am using this blush shade as my transition shade. Today I will give my eyes a golden pinkish look because the dress which I am wearing is a deep bottom green velvet blouse with a heavy golden embroidery work and a peachy pink shari with golden jerseys. Here I am using black eyeshadow from Beauty Glaze Reversal Palette as the sugar palette doesn't have and just darkening the crease area to get a proper defined eye look. And finally, I am using the golden shimmer shade from the sugar palette. And the shade is so smooth and so pretty. Oh my god. Now for eyeliner, I am using Lakme Absolute Waterproof Eyeliner. And here I am creating a long wing liner. And I think that matching the shape of the liner on both eyes is not more than a battle. Oh, I think I have won the battle. Now can you see that my face is glowing? I haven't applied the highlighter yet. Now it's time to apply the mascara and for mascara I am using my favorite Maybelline Colossian mascara and this is one of the favorite mascara of mine. This mascara is waterproof so there is no fear of spreading. Now look how pretty the golden set is. Now for water lash line I am gonna be using this blue heaven green liner. I am just applying it on the lash line and gonna smudge it with a flat fluffy brush. As the blouse is green, so I am gonna give a green hint on my eyes to give my eyes a dramatic look. Here I am applying the golden shade from Sugar Palette. Now I am using Lakme White Liner on my waterline. Using white liner on waterline makes your eyes bigger than usual. Now I have worn my lashes offline and here I am using Maybelline Highlighter for highlighting my chin and cheek area. Maybelline brand is also one of my favorite brand and most of the beauty products I own is of Maybelline. Recently I give my heart to sugar product until any other brand tries to took my heart. Here I am done with face and eye makeup. I have made braids on my hair to get a curly look. Now it's time to apply lipstick. So here I am using Mars lip liner to just line up my lips and if you guys want a review of these liners then let me know in the comment section and now for lipstick I am using pure addiction lipstick in the shade icy rose and it has number 33 after applying the lipstick again I am using the lip liner to touch up my lip lines so full makeup is done and here is my final look so guys if you have enjoyed this tutorial video then please give a thumbs up to this video and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos and here yeah, the subscription is totally free and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video the notification will come to you. So like the video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Bye.